I'm gonna fire up this robot. Mmm, donuts. <laughs> Welcome to JoJo Science Show. In my previous video, I showed you how to make 10 awesome gadgets with the Neuron Explorer Kit from MakeBlock. These are some of the things that we made with the Neuron Explorer Kit. If you want to see them in more detail, check out my previous Neuron video. Huh? Who are the bunch of animals in this thing? Wake up, good morning. And today, I'm going to show you the Swift Playgrounds app for Neuron. This Neuron Explorer kit is exclusive to the Apple Store. And there are some awesome things you can do with it using an iPad. So, let's get right into it. When you subscribe to MakeBlock on the Swift Playgrounds app, you will get lessons that will teach you how to program in Swift. So what is Swift, you might ask? Swift is a programming language that was developed by Apple. A programming language is a language that a computer understands. It can also be called code. Swift Playground is a really fun and interactive way to learn to code. You'll learn real code by simply playing. <laughs> so the Neuron Explorer Kit has a playground that you can subscribe to. The Swift Playgrounds app leads you along slowly and eventually you realize you've learned a lot without trying. All you have to do is just sit there and have fun and learn. That's like the best thing ever. In this first lesson, I'm going to connect my smart power block to my buzzer block. Now they're connected. The Swift Playgrounds app shows you which smart power blocks are available. Oh look, the buzzer is waving at me. There's already some example code in here, and I'm going to click the Run My Code button to see what happens. This program plays all the notes for the song Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Now we can edit the code to play our own sounds. Next, I'm going to connect the LED strip to the buzzer. Boop. In Swift, there's also a function called LED Color. We're going to edit the input to the function and see how the output responds. LED color. I programmed it to change the LED color to green and do a breathing pattern. It turns on and off slowly, kind of like how you're breathing. And it also plays a sound, or two sounds, when I turn it on. See? This way you can play music to your light patterns. Next, I'm going to connect the LED panel to the smart block. With the panel show function, you can change what's on the LED panel. Whoa, it seems like he's really shocked and scared. And then it shows the sun. We can show different expressions by changing the input to the function. Let's see what this code does. It displays a moon and then fire. Yo, there are several other guided projects in the Neuron Playground. Right here, I have the Neuron Explorer, which I built in my previous Neuron video. Wow, this guy's rumbling, stumbling, bumbling, jumbling, gumbling. The Swift Playgrounds app also contains the instructions to build this. We're going to use the code in the Swift Playgrounds app to control the Explorer. That way, we can see which lines control which actions. It's a really easy way to learn to code in Swift. <laughs> We're going to use this code to control those motors. I set the power to 80 on both motors, and I'm going to hit Run My Code. Ah! Wow, it did a donut! Mmm, 
Donuts. One more code. Whoa. This time it spun in the other direction because I put in negative 80 on both of them instead of 80. In Swift Playgrounds, you can program each one of these sensors. We're going to turn this explorer into a transformer. Oh. <laughs> I think I just slide it off. The instructions for this transformation are in the Neuron Playground. I'm performing surgery on him. So I fold this as shown. That's why I had these second holes. I'm gonna fire up this robot. I'm going to use the code panel show expression fire. So, oh look, it's already done. Now run my code. Whoa, it put fire. We fired up that robot. As we block the light sensor, the LED panel goes dark and the pitch of the buzzer lowers. This code tells the LED strip to blink red in a breathing pattern. This time, we'll tell it to blink yellow in a breathing pattern. If we set the power on both motors to negative 80, it'll spin around and do a donut. If we set one of the motors to negative 80 and the other one to 80, then it'll go forwards. We can also program the buzzer block to play different notes. The Neuron Playground has many more examples you can play around and learn with, one line at a time. So it's really easy and fun to learn! <laughs> Remember, the Neuron Explore Kit is exclusive to the Apple Store. Thanks for watching JoJo Science Show. If you like this video, then smash that like button down below. And also smash the subscribe button that's also down below so you can become a kid scientist too. And ring the bell real loud so that you'll receive notifications whenever I post a new fun video. And remember kids, science is fun! <laughs> We're gonna use the code to control them near motors. <laughs> we got ourselves a donut making machine. Wake up! Oh man, I was hungry!